would have been you, and I can remember what he said, so I don't... I know, but you're not, do, you're not doing the radio program, are you? I, I'm not. My Thank Christ, you're here. not. I'll, I'll tell you what, I, <laughs> that's a joke, you know. That is a joke. I'd be more pleasant than you, John. Oh, I'm sure. Anyway... Uh, now hang up, Beryl. No, I'm not hanging up. I'll just say goodbye, John. Well, you've got to hang up. <laughs> hey, Beryl, Beryl, you said you weren't going to hang up and then you hung up. Dear, dear, dear. It's wonderful for people like Beryl to sit at home and uh, instruct me how to do a radio program that I've been doing for about 62 years. And I don't think I was rude to Kevin. What did I say to Kevin? Nothing? Kevin wouldn't... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Kevin wouldn't stop talking about Kevin Rudd and how Malcolm should have uh, endorsed him. That's right. Yeah, well, we, we let, uh, we let old uh, Kevin get his point across. I happen to have a different opinion, that's all. What is that? Anyway, Beryl, you're really charming. I, I imagine you set yourself up as a lady. You're an old witch. And apart from that, uh, Beryl, you can't endorse somebody if you don't believe in their capabilities for, for the job. And that was all about that, whether whether Kevin was the right man for the job. I don't happen to believe he is the right man for the job. Not that I've ever had a problem with Kevin. I found he and his wife to be very, very enjoyable company. He's a highly intelligent man, but a lot of people don't like him. It's pretty obvious a lot of people don't like him. Uh, but I happen to. Anyway, Beryl, I don't know what I did to upset you, my dear, but you're a rude old witch because you did hang up. You said you wouldn't. No, I'm not going to hang up, John. Bang. Anyway, Beryl, try it again, love. Bring back and say, sorry, John, I shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done it, Beryl. Uh, I'm entitled to my opinion. It's not necessary for you to agree with it, however. It'll be a, it would be some... Uh, it'll be a terribly boring program if everybody agreed with my opinion, or conversely, if I agreed with everybody else's opinion. Bill Axby's Brand Multitude, weekdays from midday. We welcome Paul Bongiorno to the program. Hello, Paul, how are you? Oh, hi there, Brooke Cornwall. Dietitian with the Healthy Food Guide magazine, Brooke Longfield. Hello, Brooke, how are you? Hello, good, thank you. Barry Urka from Marketing Focus. Good afternoon, Brent. Brand Multitude. Dr Keith Suda from Global Directions is on the phone. Thank you for your time, Keith. Yes, good afternoon. Sarah Ditch, thank you for your time. That's all right, good to drop you. Brand Multitude, weekdays following John Laws on Newcastle's 1143 2HD. Walls in Diggers, members $12 Diggers meal deals. Diggers popular chicken breast schnitzel, braised lamb shank, beef parmigiana, or tempura battered garamundi, all served with chips and salad, all veggies, and all only $12 each. So if you want top value meals, try the Diggers $12 meal deals. They're available lunch and dinner Monday to Thursday at Walls in Diggers Brasserie. <laughs> Street Walls End. Tired of being sick and tired? Did you know sleep deprivation can lead to chronic health problems that may impact your quality of life at work and relationships? The Elanra is a medical device generating special biologically active oxygen. Drug-free, no mask. Better sleep, better health. Your health is precious. It works. It just works. Heal while you sleep. <coughs> Now, 1-800-352-672. That's 1-800-352-672. I'm definitely not a cab. You can use cab charge and major credit cards, but I'm not a cab. I have a set rate, so you don't pay more for sitting at traffic lights. As I said, I'm not a cab. You travel in a statesman or stretch limo. Nothing like a cab. I'm Newcastle Hire Cars. You can call me when you're heading out for the night or just down to the shops, but I'm definitely not a cab. Check newcastlehirecars.com.au and see if you think I'm better than a cab. The neighbours that saw, the paramedic who helped, the doctor who tried, the nurse who consoled, the coroner who examined the body, the wife who cried, the son who lost a dad. The story that would never have been told if the driver knew there was a speed camera ahead and slowed down. The fact is, speed cameras help reduce fatalities. To find out how, visit saferroadsnsw.com.au. Don't rush. Authorised by the New South Wales Government, Sydney. Friday the 26th of August is Cancer Council's Daffodil Day. You can get involved by buying a daffodil pin in support of someone you know. 
often money raised on Daffodil Day will go towards Cancer Council's vital research, support services, public education and prevention programs. For more information, visit daffodilday.com.au or call 1300 65 65 85. Thank you for supporting Cancer Council's Daffodil Day. Wake up with 2HD's Richard King from 5.30 weekday morning. Your home of news and talk. Okay, uh, Merv, who's out there near Cobar, which he says is wet at the moment, near a wet Cobar, uh, and he says, good day, John, I quite liked old Kev. Oh, good on you, Kev the caller. I think you may have enjoyed it as well. I did enjoy it. You then say, get him back once a month to test the well-being of the nation. Keep on keeping on big fella, Merv, near a wet Cobar. Yeah, I liked old Kev too. I <laughs> He, uh, he's a bit of a talkback freak, apparently. He, he loves, uh, I get the impression he loves all the, all the talkback shows. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's fine. I, I don't mind that at all. Kevin, are you there again? Hello, John. Yes. How are you? I'm all right, Kevin. You're back again. Yeah, I like getting into a scrap with you. Going no hard feelings. Oh, no, 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 no. But, uh, but uh, some old witch called Beryl rang up and said I was rude to you. I wasn't rude to you. No, I don't. I don't think you. Well, you've given your opinion. I've given mine. That's what it's all about, isn't 